Plus Process and he will just say and here we are at EGX with Nick making of making games and a little catch up over his raging justice who we saw last met at uh, what was it now? Gadget Show. Gadget Show. Live, yes. Okay. So a few months have passed. So the big question is, where is it? It's much further along. I, after the Gadget Show live, I had a heap load of feedback from people playing the game and realised there were certain things that needed changing or improving them. I spent a good couple of months just, just generally making the game better and play better. Which was unfortunate in the way that it was nothing visible at that time, but it plays a, a lot smoother, a lot cleaner now. Uh, since then, what other else has gone on? We, we've been working on the story, not that a game like this needs one, but we worked a little bit on the story. We've added uh, two more boss fights and rearranged a couple of the levels to have more gameplay. What else? What else? That's most of it, I think. Most of it. So, you say you're now on course to releasing it. Is the end in sight? The end's been in sight for a while, but it, it's been over... The, just, just... Yeah. This time I have a deadline. I have to meet my wife, God bless her, is pregnant, and we've agreed to finish the game before it comes out. So we're going to finish the game in about six weeks now. The game will be finished, and it'll be launched at the next the next good opportunity for me after that. Really, I good don't want to launch as an indie game. You don't really want to launch when. There's a lot of other things around. A lot of big names taking up all the promotional spaces on all the marketing sites you can be on. Mm -hmm. Or all the storefronts. It pretty much knocks out November through to December, really. Effectively, it knocks out the time just after we finish. So we're probably looking very early next year. Right, so January up to... Uh, before, before Easter, at least. Yeah, well before Easter, yeah. Because Easter's another one, the nightmare. It is. The best time, from what I understand, based on where we're at and based on where we're looking is around that January time when you've got a bit of pocket money from Christmas to spend and you just want to support your local indies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... Ooh! So this time it's running on Xbox One. Yes, that was a reveal. That was by accident. That's yeah, fine. It, it runs on... It's... Um, yeah, I think at the Gadget Show we were showing on PC. We're now yeah. showing on Xbox One. The game is very nearly there. It does actually play itself as well. It has an attract mode, which is something I was probably saying I wanted to do at Gadget Show Live, so that the... Again, because we're inspired by the arcade cabinets, they all had that kind of attract mode. The one that made you come in and spend your money. And yes. I thought, part of a homage to that is to get the game to play itself. No, no, it's no music, but there's always sound effects. Ah. Well, I've got the full sound effects and music. Oh, you're spending a bit more money. Well, two of the sound channels on at least. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. I can't think what could end with the question because you've done the question already. I've done the question already, I do. Right, he's done the question. So, are there any other questions? The first on Sorry. Blast Process, the new question. Off the cuff, new question. Off the cuff, new oh question. Oh my goodness. Cat or dog? Cat or dog? <laughs> really, I'm, I'm getting signals here. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. It's too incriminating. I could put a different one if you like. We no, no. <laughs> Cat or dog is fine. I will go with dog. Dog. Man's best friend. He's a dog man. 